Gentleman from Rhode Island. Director, uh, Director, as you know, we are specifically focusing on five separate obstruction episodes here today. I'd like to ask you about the third episode. It's the section of your report entitled, The President's Efforts to Curtail the Special Counsel Investigation, beginning at page 90. And by curtail, you mean limit, correct? Correct. My colleagues have walked through how the President tried to have you fired through the White House Counsel, and because Mr. McGahn refused the order, the President asked others to help limit your investigation. Is that correct? Correct. And was Corey Lewandowski one such individual? And again, can you remind me uh, what character? Well, Corey Lewandowski is the President's former campaign manager, correct? Correct. Did he have any official position in the Trump administration? I don't believe so. Your report describes an incident in the Oval Office involving Mr. Lewandowski on June 19, 2017, at volume 2, page 91. Is that correct? I'm sorry, what's the citation, sir? Page 91. Of uh, the second volume? Yes. And uh, A meeting in the Oval Office between Mr. Lewandowski and the President. Okay. And that was just two days after the President called Don McGahn at home and ordered him to fire you. Is that correct? Apparently so. So right after his White House counsel, Mr. McGahn, refused to follow the President's order to fire you, the President came up with a new plan. And that was to go around all of his senior advisors and government aides to have a private citizen try to limit your investigation. What did the president tell Mr. Lewandowski to do? Do you recall he told him he dictated a message to Mr. Lewandowski for Attorney General Sessions and asked him to write it down? Is that correct? True. And do you, did you and your team see this handwritten message? Uh. I'm not going to get into what we may or may not have uh, included in our investigation. Okay, the message directed Sessions to give, and, and I'm quoting from your report, to give a public speech saying that he planned to meet with the special prosecutor to explain this is very unfair and let the special prosecutor move forward with investigating election meddling for future elections. That's at page 91. Is that correct? Yes, I see that. Thank you. Yes, it is. In other words, Mr. Lewandowski, a private citizen, was instructed by the President of the United States to deliver a message from the President to the Attorney General that directed him to limit your investigation, correct? Correct. And at this time, Mr. Sessions was still recused from oversight of your investigation, correct? I'm sorry, could you restate The Attorney that? General was recused from oversight. Yes. Yes. So the Attorney General would have had to violate his own department's rules in order to comply with the President's order, correct? Well, I'm not going to get into uh, the subsidiary details. Okay. I just refer you again to page 91, 92 of the report. And if the Attorney General had followed through with the President's request, Mr. Mueller, it would have effectively ended your investigation into the President and his campaign, as you note on page 97, correct? Could you? you at page 97, you write, and I quote, taken together, the President's directives indicate that Sessions was being instructed to tell the special counsel to end the existing investigation into the president and his campaign with the special counsel being permitted to move forward with investigating election meddling for future elections. Is that correct? Generally true, yes sir. And it's a, an unsuccessful attempt to obstruct justice is still a crime, is that correct? That is correct. And Mr. Lewandowski uh, tried to meet with the attorney general, is that right? True. And he tried to meet with them in his office so he would be sure, certain there wasn't a public log of the visit. According to what we uh, gathered for the report. And the meeting never happened, and the president raised the issue again with Mr. Lewandowski, and this time he said, and I quote, if Sessions does not meet with you, Lewandowski should tell Sessions he was fired. Correct? Correct. So immediately following the meeting with the president, Lewandowski then asked Mr. Dearborn to deliver the message, who's the uh, former uh, chief of staff to Mr. Sessions, and Mr. Dearborn refuses to deliver it because he doesn't feel comfortable. Isn't that correct? Generally correct, yes. So just so we're clear, Mr. Mueller, two days after the White House counsel, Don McGahn, refused to carry out the president's order to fire you, the president directed a private citizen to tell the attorney general of the United States, who was recused at the time, to limit your investigation to future elections, effectively ending your investigation into the 2016 Trump campaign. Is that correct? Well, I'm not going to adopt your characterization. I'll say well, that the facts well, as laid out in the report are accurate. Well, Mr. Mueller, in your report, you in fact write at page 99, 97, Substantial evidence indicates that the president's effort to have Sessions limit the scope of the special counsel's investigation to future elections interference was intended to prevent further investigative scrutiny of the president and his campaign conduct. Is that correct? Generally. And so, Mr. Mueller, you have seen the letter where a thousand former Republican and Democratic federal prosecutors have read your report and said, 
anyone but the president who committed those acts would be charged with obstruction of justice. Do you agree with those former colleagues, a thousand prosecutors who came to that conclusion? Those prosecutors. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.